Hey YouTube, time for a shrimp update for April 2017. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, coming at you today with another update on the shrimp tanks. Um, we'll just start off like I always do with the crystal red. These are the lower grade, A through S. Got them back for sale again now since I've had some good breeding going on. Look at that guy holding the food stick. Um, these guys are doing real well. Um, all over the tank. Growing like crazy. Next door here I've got uh, kind of a mixed tank with uh, black pintos. With a few Thai Bs in here. A few Aura Blues and a Tangerine Tiger. Um, there should be some babies starting to come about here because I had a, a buried female Thai bee that is no longer buried, so unless something bad happened, um, there's probably babies chilling out somewhere. But everything's going good in here, got a few different types of Pintos, I'm really getting into the Pintos lately, couldn't tell. Okay, I take that back about the buried Thai bee. It's right there. It's still buried. Hadn't seen her in a few days. But anyway, Pinto's doing great. I got a few spotted heads, some, uh, well, what do you call them, zebras, I guess, and a few bellies. So uh, things are going real good. Really, re really digging the Pintos so far. A little bit more pricey shrimp, but uh, worth it in my opinion. I'm going to be separating some of this stuff out as I have some tanks cycling. This will be Pintos only, or one tank will, and then I'll take the Tybees and everything else, put them in another, and I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll probably uh, start trying to breed some Tybees and Thai Tybees. Uh, next tank over is uh, another crystal red tank that also has uh, some whites and some golden bees in it. Tank is doing real good too. They're kind of down here fighting over the food right now. But yeah, things are going really well here. Some buried females, seen some babies. Good, good stuff. Uh, next door are the PRLs, which have really been thriving. Had a few buried females and I've seen some babies around in the tank. These are from several lines, three or four different uh, lines now, combining it all into one. Kind of have my own line, I guess you'd say. I don't know. Kind of feel weird about saying that, but, um, you know, whatever. So they're doing good. Probably have some of those ready for sale soon. Next door here is the Super Crystal Red Tank. Lost a few, but they're doing good overall, the ones I have left. They're growing, seem to be healthy. Hoping to get some more of these soon. Started with, I think it was 10. I think I've got about eight left. I can't remember for sure, but we're getting some more soon. There's another one back there. Taiwan bees below are doing real well. They're chowing down right now. Got uh, kind of a combo platter here of uh, blue bolts, wine reds, red bolts, uh, BKKs, pandas, shadow pandas. I don't know if there's any shadow pandas in here actually, but. So yeah, they're doing real well. Okay, we'll go over to the other rack here. 
And we'll start out at the top. So this is pretty cool. These are the ones that I've kind of updated you on every month and there's really been nothing going on. These are the ones that used to be referred to as uh, the Savage Reds, I guess. That just comes from the, the gal who was reading them. But we do have babies in here. So I've finally gotten them to breed. There's some more up here. So we'll see what happens, but as you can see from the adults in here, they're just a beautiful, beautiful red line. If I remember right, they were derived from Bloody Marys and uh, PFRs. So that's good news. I was going to take what I had left and combine them with my uh, red slash PFR tank below, but I think I'm going to keep these separate now in case they do take off and, uh, you know, keep them separate. Uh, the uh, Royal Blue Tiger tank right here is doing better. Oh, the camera won't focus for some reason. As you can see, we've had babies now, finally. They're breeding again. And there's been two different sets because there's uh, some that are about this size and then there's some that are quite a bit smaller in here. There's one right there between those two snail shells. Man, I don't know why it's not focusing real well. This phone always focuses. This has something to do with the lighting. But anyway, that is that tank. <clears throat> There's a lot of algae on this tank here, so it's not going to be real good. But these are my red cherries. Uh, some of them are varying qualities from Sakura to Fire Red to Painted Fire Reds. Hundreds in this tank. Crystal Blacks down here, different grades. Got the lower grade up to the high grade. There's been some babies in here lately, so that's a good sign. I just noticed the other day. There's one right below that leaf. There's another one over here. So that's good. Really dig this boost in here and the mini Pelia. Alright, so this is two new tanks that are being cycled right now. Down below, I'm using the SL Aqua. Up here is just uh, ADA. Uh, this was the Green J tank. This was the Red Really tank. I've sold those off. This is something I'm really excited about here is the Red Pinto tank. I've slowly been buying some different Pintos from different people. I've got some spotted heads and some uh, zebras in here. And uh, they're doing good so far. Really happy about them. Finally, up above are the uh, Blue Dreams. Also doing good. Been having a lot of babies in there lately. See some little ones here and there. Hopefully this colony will really start to take off. But yeah, that's about it. I'm not going to take you upstairs today just because everything up there has been taken down and I'm basically cycling new tanks uh, where the old ones were. So that's kind of it. The 90 gallon uh, red cherry tank is also being in the process of being taken down. It's not down yet, but I'm selling up. If you're interested in some Monte Carlo or some Fissidence Fontanis, let me know. They will possibly contain scuds, but if you want them in a fish tank, that's just free fish food. Um, but since they're in a shrimp tank, I haven't been able to get rid of them because the shrimp won't eat them. But anyway, that's all I have for you this month. Uh, thanks for watching as always. Um, thanks for all the subscribers and the people that comment on these videos and stuff. I recently hit 10,000 subscribers and that was just super cool. So thanks to everybody that takes the time out to subscribe. 
and to watch these videos and to uh, comment and get interactive and stuff. If you're looking to buy any of the Crystal Reds or also some of the Red Cherries, uh, email me. My email will be below in the description area and we can talk. But until next time, thanks for watching.